Pitts, Boots, Bats and Balls, 10 till 12 Saturdays on Six Towns Radio. Mark, you seem to have settled on the central defence of Jeff Cameron and Mark Moon. Yes, sir. I think a lot of people are surprised you haven't been playing your new signing, uh, Philip Altshine. Is there any reason? No, no, it's, um, it's a case of form and... Uh, and what I saw in pre-season, Jeff, Jeff Cameron had a, an outstanding pre-season, arguably he was our best performer and he's, he started the season. Um, it's, it's a fluid situation, the guys have to keep the shirt and, and keep their form and, uh, and I pick teams based on what I see leading into games as well and uh, uh, at the moment um, uh, the team as a consequence of not winning games, people question uh, the format and and the makeup of the team in terms of personnel, but um, for the most part, like I said, I think performance has been okay. Uh, they need to improve, obviously, but uh, um, the guys in the group know that um, they need to be ready if called upon, like uh, Philip, uh, who has to be patient at the moment, but there's a number of players in the squad who were in similar situations, but they're, they're ready, they're training well, and they're ready if called upon to, to have an impact for us. So, uh, uh, as I said, five games in, it's, it is what it is for some players, but uh, they'll play a part and they know that. Meanwhile, on the other side, let's look at Robert Hooth. Have you got inside knowledge how to break them down? For you? Um, no, Rob, Roberts went, went to Leicester. We've obviously uh, got a huge amount of respect for, for Houthi here at the club, and a lot of the guys have played against him, played against him in training as well, so they know what he's like. Yeah, we're welcoming back, but our intention is that he goes home disappointed. He left the club, obviously, because he, there was an opportunity for him there, and he did really well on loan, and Houthi given his standard in. Uh, in the game, he wants to play week in, week out. At the time, I couldn't really guarantee that for him, so uh, he's made the move and uh, it looks like it's been excellent for him and uh, we wish him well, but obviously not at the weekend. Glenn Johnson's trained this, this week, so uh, he comes back into my thinking. Obviously, we've still got a couple of suspensions, Charlie and, and Affly, so they're unavailable. Mamduf is probably the biggest doubt. Just got tightness in his hamstring, so uh, might give him a little bit longer before we make a decision on him. Um, apart from that, everybody else is okay. John Walsh is fine, train, train this week. From my point of view, thankfully as a player, I never had a long-term injury. So when these guys have the types of injury we've seen, certainly this week, then there's a reality that they face months and months in isolation from certainly the, the playing group um, and they have to do a lot of work and, and be mentally strong and just get on with it and, and it seems a long road back. Those types of players like Bojan himself, um, I think they have a tenacity and a, and a real drive from within that they'll, they need and, and use when they face adverti uh, adversity. So uh, he'll need those, those qualities to, to come back strong. You have to save them from themselves, really. Um, I think the key is that when you, when you do come back, certainly from, from Bojan's point of view, when my view was that it was important that there's a lot of expectation on him because he had a huge impact for us and uh, everybody wants him to come back and, and be able to make that immediate impact. And uh, I think if, if the timing of his comeback uh, wasn't managed correctly, then he wouldn't have been in a position to be able to come back and make the impact that, that we think he will do when he when he's back uh, playing regularly. So um, that's when, obviously, you, you have to have conversations with with these players and make them understand the thinking behind why they're not involved straight from the off. It's about what I see on the training ground and what I see in in games that he's, he's played up to this point. And, and then you make a decision based on that. But sometimes you, you have to be a little bit honest with them and, and say it's you're not quite where where I feel you need to be to have the maximum impact for us, but uh, but Bojan now is is very much at that point. On the instigation of the captain, I think he was just missing the company of the players, Ryan Shawcross. So uh, he decided that he wanted to see him for a little bit longer. Uh, we'll go for old cakes, I think. <laughs> a lot nicer.